For a very long time, China has been involved in various engineering projects and infrastructure expenditures. In the first quarter of 2023, the nation launched more than 10,000 construction projects, which resulted in a total investment of 7 trillion RMB. The goals of these ambitious endeavors were to both stimulate the economy and to provide people with the most cutting-edge, technologically advanced facilities, in addition to providing an ever-increasing number of employment opportunities. Keep watching this video to see the best Chinese mega-projects. Taihu Tunnel The Taihu Tunnel is the longest underwater tunnel found anywhere globally, measuring 10.80 kilometers in length. The project comprises a six-lane highway linking the cities of Shanghai and Nanjing. The highway is under Lake Taihu, located around 50 kilometers east of Shanghai. Construction of the tunnel started in 2018, and it was estimated to cost roughly 10 billion RMB. In December 2021, after three years and applying 2 million cubic meters of concrete, it was finally accessible to the general public. A new highway that is 43 kilometers long and connects the cities of Changzhou and Wuxi was opened to the public on the same day the Taihu Tunnel was inaugurated. During the first week after it opened, the Taihu Tunnel was traversed by an average of 25,000 cars daily. Xiao Chunfei, the project manager, and one of his colleagues stated that the tunnel was constructed by adhering to a green construction concept throughout its development and utilizing innovative approaches. This was done to minimize the tunnel's environmental impact while providing residents and visitors efficient travel options and easy access to scenic spots. Bullet Train CR-450 The China Railway CR-450 Innovation Project was announced during the 14th Five-Year Plan, which spans 2021 to 2025. An experimental speed of 450 km per hour was anticipated for the train, in addition to its cruising speed of 400 kph. This Chinese mega-project has only been tested on a very short stretch of the high-speed railway that connects Fuzhou and Xiamen. Yet, when it is put into service, it can travel the distance between Beijing and Shanghai in just 2.5 hours. Additionally, the train is under the Chinese green policy. This is because the train will be electrified and more energy efficient. It will serve as an environmentally friendly alternative to other modes of transportation that produce more pollution, such as automobiles and aircraft. Beipanjiang Bridge Although it was opened in 2016, the Beipanjiang Bridge continues to retain the status of being the tallest bridge in the world. Located between the provinces of Guizhou and Yunnan, this architectural masterpiece comprises a four-lane highway that is 1.3 kilometers long. The Duge Bridge Scientific Research Project was initiated by the Chinese Ministry of Transport in 2012, marking the beginning of the bridge's history. On the other hand, the building work began in 2013 due to a partnership between the provinces of Zhejiang and Yunnan. A mere three years and one billion RMB later, in 2016, the bridge was finally constructed, and on the 29th of December of the same year, it was formally opened to traffic for the first time. Before constructing the Beipanjiang Bridge, the journey between the two towns of Xuanwei and Liupanshui, which are located in Yunnan and Guizhou, might take up to four hours. Thus, a reduction of three hours after 2016 made it possible for automobiles and trucks to go from one city to another in around 60 minutes. Xiong'an New Area The Xiong'an New Area is a futuristic metropolis 100 kilometers south of Beijing. It is envisioned to be a massive eco-friendly complex that is designed to alleviate the issue of traffic congestion in Beijing. On the 23rd of February 2017, the President of China, Xi Jinping, delivered a speech in the county of Anxin, which was the location where the city was supposed to be constructed. A few months later, on April 1, 2017, the project was formally established by the Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party and the State Council. It is anticipated that the city will encompass over 1,700 square kilometers and will be home to a permanent population of more than 120,000 people. Additionally, it would tackle the issues of overpopulation and traffic congestion that are now occurring in Beijing. As a result of implementing the 15-minute community living circle, the city's construction will also transform. According to this forward-thinking city layout, every facility must be accessible within 15 minutes. This rule will be applied to everything, including schools, hospitals, and grocery shops. Furthermore, this Chinese mega-project would serve as a crucial standard for all future innovations in China, 
which is in line with Xi Jinping's vision, articulated at the 20th Party Congress in 2022. An additional illustration of this boost to research and development projects and inventions is provided by Made in China 2025, which is one of the most ambitious goals for the future of the country. China intends to become the exporter of innovation via this drive, establishing itself as the standard by which other nations are measured. During his third trip to the project's location, which took place in July 2023, the Chinese president expressed his contentment with the work that had been done over six years. He said that this more modern and environmentally friendly city would successfully tackle the persistent urban illnesses that have been plaguing the city for a long time, such as pollution and traffic congestion, for good. Fast Radio Telescope It is estimated that the Fast Radio Telescope will be the largest single-dish radioscope in the world by the year 2023. According to the term FAST, which stands for 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, the structure in question is located in the Guizhou province. It was just five years after the construction started that it was already operating. The Chinese government provided funding for the project, and as of the year 2023, the National Astronomical Observatories associated with the Chinese Academy of Sciences are in charge of managing the enormous scope of the project. The Mega Project is a revolution in the field of space exploration. Since 2017, the China Sky Eye, as it was referred to, has found more than 740 pulsars, also known as neutron stars, and the number is continuously growing. Kala Power Station In accordance with the goal of achieving carbon neutrality on a global scale by the year 2060, China started the building of the Kala Power Plant in the year 2022. This structure is a hydroelectric power plant that spans 16 million square meters and is located in the Sichuan area. While the Design and Research Institute of Power, China Chengdu, formally announced the project in 2016, the building work did not officially begin until 2022. As a result of the power station's location on a mountain complex in Yajiang County, which is 4,600 meters above sea level, the construction of this mega project created a challenge for engineers. The facility had to be designed to endure storms, blizzards, and every other kind of weather that might possibly occur. Even though there were initial challenges, the Kala power plant started producing electricity on June 26, 2023, which was over a year after the first troubles. The Kala hydroelectric station has a capacity of 1 million kilowatts, and since it has an annual output of 2 billion kilowatts, it will be able to provide sufficient electricity to meet the requirements of about 700,000 families on an annual basis. The building also symbolizes a significant transition in the Chinese economy. This is primarily due to the fact that, as stated by Yang Jiwei, the construction project manager, this enormous quantity of energy is comparable to 600,000 tons of coal, and as a result, it will cut the amount of carbon dioxide emissions by 1.6 million tons. South North Water Transfer Project The South North Water Transfer Diversion Project is a multi-decade infrastructure mega-project in China estimated to cost more than $79 billion. This project intends to redirect roughly 44.8 billion cubic meters of fresh water per year from four rivers in the southern area of the nation. Across the Asian nation, the diversions may be found in the eastern, central, and western components. Although the building of the eastern route is finished, the development of the central and western routes is still an ongoing process. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.